Welcome back. So second half of this week, work continues on these fixtures that are going to hold the wings, uh, wing skins in place as they get bonded up with the ribs and the uh, main spar or the wing spar. So just uh, running those on the machine just to create those contours as you've seen uh, earlier on. So anyway, that's progressing. And here's the other one that was already finished there, and um, so that one's basically done. Just needs to be uh, cleaned off there a little bit and a uh, little few little edges there trimmed and it's ready to flip over and actually put on the plug just for a fit and the guys have been pushing really hard the last couple of days to get uh, these two uh, wing spar plugs um, into the second coat of primer because there was a bunch of sanding as I mentioned last time that needed to be done sort of on the transition there um, but they pushed really hard and they managed to actually uh, get it done so here's that first one so that got primed there uh, on uh, Thursday afternoon and now it's got the guide coat on there so the guys are getting ready for the second round of sanding and then once that which that what that won't take actually very long because it's just sort of finished sanding and then uh, be ready to wax that one up and uh, in preparation for pulling the mold and here's that first wing fixture so that one's uh, flipped over and just sitting on the plug there and so we'll be we'll be beefing up that uh, frame there and um, basically building in another piece that will mate up um, with the winglet as well. So there's still more work to do there, but once that um, fixtures all together, it'll be really quick to uh, construct the wing with the skins and uh, ribs in place. So there's a lot of exciting stuff that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks with the engine, so I have to get this uh, wiring all sorted out for these instruments um, for the test stand. So you can see I'm basically in the process there of wiring everything up and got a couple of little terminal blocks there and you know sort of created you know some grounds and some positives and some some that are switched and that sort of stuff and uh, just getting everything wired up so and those terminal blocks there I'm actually going to mount those later on a little bit of a bracket in there but I just wanted them sort of in position where they needed to be so I could wire everything up and trying to keep it all neat and tidy but you know and it's, it's, there's a lot of different wires going on in there but coming together nicely so I'm happy with uh, how that's progressing and Britt dropped off a couple more pieces that he completed so this is the uh, transition that goes between turbo 1 and turbo 2 and he finished uh, welding that up and it's sort of a couple of different pieces in there because you know we didn't have enough angle on it I think I mentioned that in one of the earlier videos but anyway it's there now and it has the bung in it for the temperature sensor and this is the other one that you've already seen but I just wanted to show you also have the uh, temperature sensor in that that's basically the exhaust so we'll know what the EGT temp is for um, after turbo 1 and after turbo 2 to know uh, how things are performing and this is the initial intake that um, I actually didn't really mention that I cut all the pieces for that I guess a week or so ago but you did see it in one of the earlier videos and uh, Britt brought that back all welded up and there I've got the uh, air cleaner that I purchased um, on there and sort of mounted and strapped on and also uh, the temperature gauge on there as well and meanwhile, uh, this is um, the fixture or the jig and actually the upper gear retraction bracket that I showed you guys quite a while back. Anyway, we're waiting on some of these parts from the laser cutter. And so this is all back now, these the pieces here and the actual, um, you know, the parts for the upper bracket itself. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you this again. And then in this box here, these are all the parts for that jig there. So they basically are just all slot together and that creates a nice fixture uh, so all the different pieces of the main gear can be welded together and here is the main gear again just to go over things I wanted to show you the parts that have come back from laser cutter so that bottom one there that's highlighted in blue those three pieces there are back and then the upper piece here that one there that's basically back so you can see there's multiple pieces and that's the one that needs the jig and then the lower piece as well and we have a, a small jig for that one as well so those pieces um, all came back from the laser cutter and they're looking really nice. And uh, here's some of the ones just sort of sitting in the box there. So we're waiting on um, Britt to weld those up, but he unfortunately he's real busy next week. So it's a bit of a delay um, with that. But I've asked him if he can uh, the next the week after that to really get on that and get these things welded up. And he also has that front nose gear um, and the yeah front nose gear pieces as well to weld up. So and there's there's some of the pieces there for the the upper bracket there and as you can see. And now this is late Friday afternoon. The guys uh, pushed on that one that had the um, the guide coat sprayed on there, and you see they've almost got that already knocked down. 
in terms of the sanding so that won't be long and that one will be ready for waxing which is uh, really good and here's the other one and um, Jeff managed to get that in primer to Friday afternoon and then uh, got the guide coat on there so that one is also ready for the second round of sanding so good progress there and won't be long and we'll be able to start pulling the molds from those hopefully uh, by the end of next week And here's Zach and Keith uh, putting that second fixture on its plug just to see how it fits there. And so the goal is here is to beef these up and add the winglet part and then we'll be flipping them over. And then once we have the skin laid up, the upper skin laid up, we'll lay the upper skin in that. And then we'll uh, bond in the spar and bond in all the ribs. And then finally uh, put the lower skin on top and bond that in into place. And then we'll make that'll make sure that the wing's all straight. Uh, anyway, we also put the roof back on the fuselage here because we're getting ready to mark out um, or figure out exactly where the vent lines are going to run for the, the three fuel tanks and that's sort of going to run up to the roof in the cabin and then back down and out the bottom. So that'll be next week. And finally, I finished off uh, yesterday with uh, actually getting these things all fired up here. So you can see um, there's my little switch panel and um, got all my gauges and stuff in there and um, you see all the wiring is pretty much done and I've got you know the cables and that to hook up to the various sensors and uh, so this there's the first one there that's basically temperature sensor on one of the intakes and then that's the EGT oh that one kind of there I wanted to move it with my hand that's the EGT sensor there um, for one of the exhaust sides so I just hooked up one of each of those temp and EGT sensors and I've got our battery there behind it and uh, we've got the key there so I turn the key on and all the gauges will come to life so there you can kind of see things going on and those gauges, temp gauges up the right there do a little test circuit there so as you can see fuel gauge is just reading high because it's not connected to anything the volts are showing there about uh, I don't know 12 and a half volts on the battery and um, the boost isn't connected to anything yet so those are just showing zero and, and then that one there that's actually showing ambient temperature about 70 degrees Yes, that was the metal one I showed you just now and then that one's not hooked up and then one of these is hooked up and again that's the intake thing that's showing it also to about 70 75 degrees there and you see those are backlit and the other ones actually I can show you there they're backlit as well I've got some of them red and some of them green um, so it's kind of neat so that's all wired up uh, anyway one of the things I also wanted to mention is we're planning on having an open house and it'll probably be uh, in late July or sometime in August and I'm going to give everybody um, a month's notice as, as much as I can so they can organize to come visit um, but I'm I really want the fuselage to be up on the gear and, and the seats in it so you can sit in it and also hopefully they have the engine running so um, it's it's going to sort of depend on knowing that we're going to be have those things ready before I announce it but anyway stay tuned for that and uh, anybody who's just planning on coming by the shop or even asking please don't um, we're busy working you know during the week so Anyway, that's our update for this week, and uh, thanks again for watching.